All right, I would like an easy way to remember the congruency theorems, um, the triangle congruency theorems. So before I start doing this, I think it's easiest just to remember that each congruency theorem has three letters in it, and those letters are S and A, representing side and angle. So before I label these the actual congruency theorems, I'm just going to start throwing out letters and see which ones work and which ones don't. So I have to have one with all three S's and one um, the opposite to have all three A's. Okay, so I've got two here, um, and then I need to have one with A in the middle, and one with an S in the middle. Okay, um, and then here, now I need one um, on the left side here that does not have the A in the middle. So I can have, let's see here, um, and here we have A not being in the middle. And then on the opposite would be having S not be in the middle either. So remember, S represents side, A represents angle. So I can remember um, that this, um, this theorem right here, if I move the A over here, it makes a bad word. So that's a good memory trick for me to remember. Oops, this theorem doesn't work. This is not a congruency theorem, so I'm just going to go ahead and cross it out. Doesn't work. Okay, um, and the other one that doesn't work is actually AAA. That's how I remember it, AAA, American Automotive, um, gee, association, there we go. Um, so that's a good memory trick for me right there. Um, and then the rest of those actually are the congruency theorem. So I'm actually going to label these. There they are. Um, those are the congruency theorems. So now let's look at what the similarity theorems are and how they differ. Turns out um, triple A, um, we don't even need triple A for similarity theorems because if we have two angles, um, we know that the triangles are similar. So I just have AA similarity theorem, that squiggle is similarity. SS works. Um, so I can just bring it over from the other side, and there it is. That works. And then because um, because I have um, two angles, these these other two theorems that have two angles in them from congruency, I don't really need them because I have it right here with triple or, or with double a. So showing the extra s in each of these is actually extra work. So I don't need to. Yes, they do work for similarity. But since I have the double A already showing the extra S is just extra work, so we don't need to. Um, and so the only one that we have left over, we know this is kind of like double A. Um, we got those two. This one doesn't work for similarity either. And then, um, you know, it's just a bad word. It's just never going to work. And then these two, we already did this one. And that one is also a similarity theorem. So I'll bring it up. Um, so the nice thing is, is that if, as you're remembering the congruency theorem, all you got to do is um, just name them all and then cross out AAA and cross out the one that has a bad word. You've got all the congruency theorems. Um, for similarity, this is easy. We just have three. We have double A um, and then the ones from over there that are not double A. Okay, that's how we can remember.